Well, it's finally happened. After four years and nearly 300 YouTube videos, I finally messed up and I owe the community an apology. It's now almost September and I've just failed. I've failed over the course of this entire summer to bring you a video about iced espresso drinks. And I'm sorry. Summer is almost over and soon you'll be inundated with pumpkin, spice, everything. But before the PSL takes hold of every fiber of your barista being, and also I'm looking at you third wave shops, I see you over there doing squash lattes, it's really the same thing, let's not argue here, it's just semantics, really. But I wanted to get in a video about my favorite iced espresso drinks before the summer is just a distant memory. So I thought better late than never. Let's share some of my favorite recipes so you can spend the last few weeks of summer in cool, tasty bliss. First up, we've got the controversial but classic iced cappuccino. Some will say it doesn't exist, but it does. And it's simply delicious with just two ingredients, coffee and your choice of milk. Just create the base of ice, milk, and espresso. Or if you don't have an espresso machine, you can always sub in some cold brew, a coffee concentrate, or a cometeer capsule. Then use a French press to foam up some additional milk to your desired texture, then pour it over the top. The result is a cool, creamy coffee drink that's small enough to allow the coffee to shine through, but also just a general crowd pleaser and not bad to look at. Now, if you have a sweet tooth like me, the cereal milk latte is the tops or the goat or whatever kids are calling good these days. The beauty of this one is you can use your favorite cereal and then pair it based on the coffee you're using. Got a preference for fruit forward coffee? Get some Fruit Loops to go with it. Or maybe you've got something more chocolatey. Well, Cocoa Puffs may just be the answer. And you can take on making this one either the simple way by literally just using the milk from your cereal bowl or by letting them soak overnight and straining it through. One of the benefits of going the long route is you can control the flavor intensity by adding more or less milk, but I generally aim for a one to two cereal to milk ratio. The end result is a sweet, slightly denser milk that brings back those nostalgic childhood summer mornings mixed with the reality of being an adult and the need for caffeine to properly function in society. Chef's kiss, baby. Last, but certainly not least, and it's one of my favorites when visiting San Francisco, and it's the real San Francisco treat. I'm sorry to say, Riceroni, but I'm talking about the snowy plover. This one is a little more work than the other two, but it's completely worth it, especially if you like sparkling coffee. Step one, make a simple syrup. And it's got simple in the name for a reason, a one-to-one -one ratio of sugar and water, simmer to reduce, cool, and you're good to go. Step two, make some homemade whipped cream. And much like the syrup, it's pretty simple to put together. The basics are heavy cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract. I personally use half cup cream, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and powdered sugar to taste, starting with one tablespoon. Once you've got all the ingredients ready and set aside, it's time to pull yourself a shot of espresso. Finally, pour the espresso into a glass with ice, and then add sparkling water. The original uses Pellegrino. Then put in simple syrup to taste and top with a healthy scoop of whipped cream and enjoy. Of course, you can always sub in pre-made options like maple and agave syrup or even pre-made whipped cream from the store, but if you're as extra as I am, scratch made is the way to go. Or if you're in San Francisco, you can just head down to Andytown Coffee Roasters for the real thing. And on that note, it's time I wrap this one up and pass the conversation on to you. Have you tried any of these drinks in the past? They're not super uncommon except for the snowy plover, which I haven't seen anywhere else. But also, do you have a favorite iced espresso drink and a recipe you'd like to share? Drop your answers to those questions and any others you may have in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday. Check out my Instagram, at Spromethius, for content throughout the week my blog at Spermetheus.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.